a little bit about it. So we finally got into example 7.2. So we have two cylinders, one at the other. First cylinder with the radius of A, the second cylinder with the radius of B, the one on the other side. Okay, I don't think you can read it. I just hope you remember it. I'm just going to do this so you can see. Okay, so first of all, we have to find the electric field. Well, the electric field is equal to what? From um, what we started in the past, actually. That's a thick long way. Electric field times dA uh, is equal to the charge enclosed over our uh, epsilon naught. So what does this equal to? Well, this is going to be equal to E on this side, 2 pi uh, S is equal to lambda over epsilon naught. So this is equal to, the field is equal to lambda over 2 pi S epsilon naught. In the asset direction, of course. All right, now that we found this, we said that our current is equals to the integral of our current density times the current the area, of course. But already we said that thanks to uh, equation 7.3, J is equals to our constant times the electric field. So we have our constant times the integral of the electric field over the area. <clears throat> okay. So here we have. Uh, oh, I think I have a mistake on here. Uh, it's gonna be right. We'll, we'll see in the end how it works out. Because here we would have a lambda l, and then we would have an l on the other side. Okay, yes, and then we cancel out the two l's. All right. So here instead we have our uh, constant, and then e d a is equals to. Well, we can take it from here is equals to, um, sorry, actually you can take it from, yeah, from over there, as I just said. So we're going to have our constant times our lambda L over epsilon naught. Okay, because we just said that this one over here is equals to the charge or epsilon naught, and the charge is equals to lambda times L. So we just substitute it like that. <clears throat> now, again, we have to say that V is equals to negative the integral from B to A, or if well, actually E times DL, or if we switch the two sides, we're gonna get the integral from A to B, which will look, looks even better, E times DL, this equals to what? Well, we take a take D that we already found, we we'll take E, sorry, that we already found before, which is equals to this part over here. So, I'm just copying and paste. Okay, into this, times DL, which is gonna be equals to, uh, sorry, DL is gonna be DS, in our case, because we're moving along the uh, radius of the cylinder from A to B. So we get that is equals to take out the constant, so lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught, the integral of 1 over S, dS from A to B. So we get that is equals to what? Well, let me go back in. Okay. So constants remain the same. And then the logarithm, natural logarithm of, well, we're gonna have b minus natural logarithm of a is equals to constant gonna be the same in front, and the natural logarithm of b over a, and that is pretty straightforward from here. You just substitute. Now you can go two ways actually. You can substitute using lambda because you have it in both formulas, or you can substitute using epsilon naught. Now lambda has initial uh, 
positive sides, but I think epsilon naught is uh, a better choice in our case. Actually, no, let's use lambda, like uh, most people would do, you'd do. So we have that our formula b is equals to, let me use blue. So b is equals to lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught, and then ln of b over a. So lambda is equals to what? Well, it's going to be 2 pi epsilon naught times b over ln of b over a. Perfect. So if we substitute this in our current equation, which was this one over here, where, so this, this one over here is equal to current, so this one over here, with this substitution to make, we get the current is equal to our constant over epsilon naught times L, let me write it in first, that doesn't change, and then 2 pi epsilon naught, now you can see why I wanted to substitute epsilon naught, and then B over L N of B over A. So here we can solve this part over here, and we get that the current is equal to the constant, the conductivity constant, times, actually I started with 2 pi, conductivity constant, times the length over ln of b over a times b. Or, let's write this i is equals to, let me write in a more compact form, this part over here. <coughs> or if we use Ohm's law, we know that v is equals to i r, so this means that this part over here is equals to 1 over r. Or r is equals to, well, minus 1, so this part on top and this part on the bottom. So from here we can see that uh, a higher conductivity indeed will give us a sorry, uh, higher conductivity means lower resistance as well as a higher length let's say if we have a logarithm on top a higher ln of b over a is equal to a higher um, resistance. Uh, I hope you have a and you start to understand where the is, uh, um, where this is going to go. If not, let's do a comment asking for explanation. Thank you very much.